and welcome to the next works. I am pleased to announce that we have the Enterprise build back on. So let's continue with the Enterprise build. It's been a long time coming. Issue 15 was back in stock. I have it here so we can start doing this. Now I'm breaking this up into two videos. So today I'm going to be doing uh, stages 55 and 56 and then the other two in the following one. Uh, so in these two issues or stages, I keep I keep messing that up so I do apologise. So we're, we're on issue 15, we're at stage 55 and on stage 55 and 56, we actually complete the top of the saucer section. Uh, and we've got the last bits to put on. And yeah, so I've got the saucer here. So we are going to be putting on the bridge section, which we done, if you remember, right the way, right back. And I think it was like the first issue. It's been that long. It's right here. Um so it has actually been that long since I've done this uh, because I've done this when it originally first came out through uh, Eagle Moss. So that's how long ago this was. And uh, we're also going to be putting on the phaser strip as well. So uh, let's carry on. Let's do issue uh, stage. Keep keep doing that. I do apologise. Uh, we're going to do stage 55 first. So let's get on. Okay, so I've gone back to uh, the camera up here. So I've been using different cameras. This is what we get in stage 55. Um, so effectively we're gonna be um, basically fitting that bridge section first. We've also got the impulse engines as well. And we've got the battery box uh, for the warp in the cell. So I'm just gonna Cut this. I should have done anyway. Put all those bits here. Like so move this one because that's be our next one. Just like that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're grabbing this section just here, and it's going to sit on there. And we're going to flip it over now. And we are going to use FM screws to secure that in. So I'm going to okay, do that so we've now. we've secured that in. So I'm going to flip it over just to show you. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we've got our bridge section. So all the wires need to go through the middle like that. And then this is going to go into place like so and then we're gonna flip it round like that <clears throat> yep and we're gonna go around so we've, we've got a few screw holes here so we're gonna go around using bm screws uh to, to screw the top section in okay so we've now put the bridge in also as well you have to take this um motherboard out here and to screw in the bridge section i don't know why we couldn't put that on beforehand but it is what it is so here's the big reveal uh, look at that now it does sit flush as well which i'm really pleased about and we're nearly finished there's a few bit of bits to go on Obviously the phaser sections, that will all go on in just a moment. So now we've done that, now obviously all we've got to do now is start plugging in. Now we should have two plugs. So we've got this one here. This one here should go into this end one, like that. And then we should have another one. Uh, right there that goes in the next one and the one that's actually attached to the bridge so let me um just so 
and then the last one which is attached to the bridge which is just here which is the C one the one with the C on that goes into the middle section so we just have to part these wires a little bit and uh, plug this one just in here like that okay next what we're going to do is we're going to add our impulse engines so this is what they look like they sort of go on these covers will go on them somehow now i don't know if these are supposed to be attached already because they're not And you split ah okay you've got to slide it in is that right is that what it says i don't know what is what now um because I, I think these are supposed to be attached let me just double check but they're not right Um, it says take of a left saucer impulse engine so the left one is that one that will go here ah right okay so it sort of holds it in and then this one and we should have um, uh, a wire here I believe um, we should have at least one wire um, okay so we've got this one here and I've got one here as well and obviously they will go in okay so the way you do this is we need AP screws because these are the ones that are going in looks like it's going to be a bit of like a holding thing on it do you know what I might actually uh, glue it I'll see how we go with this so we get the two halves and obviously the thinner end goes on like that and then that will sit in like that so what we need to do as well there's a little gap at the end on this that is where the light is going to sit into so i now need to grab that light push that in There we go. Have the wrong one because they're not sort of labelled, which is a bit annoying. Okay. So that's the first one in, and that is, as you can see, it's quite loose, but it does. It does hold so okay so that's <laughs> so that's where that one goes uh the next one over here once again i'm going to put this on already so this is going to sit sort of like that and then this is going to sit like that 
So we first need to get our light, which is going to sit just like that. There's the first one, AP screw again. Make sure it's held in place. And there we go. That one's in place as well. So that is how they should look. Just like that okay um, okay so we're moving away from the saucer section now so I need to just put this aside so I'm just gonna sort of rest it here a minute and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this bit here so this one looks pretty straightforward we need some AP screws and I've misplaced them where have I placed them Ah, there we are. There. <laughs> so we need one, and two, one and two. Okay, so we move that to the side. Let me go uh, zoom up. One second. There we go. So let's just unravel this carefully. Okay, so we're going to put the screw in just here. It fits in to the recess just like that. And this is going to go over the top. Sits like that. We're just going to AP screw it in. So this is effectively this is the battery box well it is the battery box for the warp engine now, don't over um, over tighten these because you're going into plastic so it's worth not to over tighten just like that so that is just there like that and uh, that's that bit and that is it for stage 55 we're now going to move on to stage 56 uh, where we actually physically now complete the top of the saucer section which is brilliant so i'm going to turn that over because we're going to finish doing this now oh it looks so good so good right okay um so the first thing we're going to do is open this up. We're just going to need, at the minute, the source, the um, spacer strips. So I'm going to get okay, them. So we need to put the base of the warp engine and these two colour plastic sections. I'm just going to put them on there like that for now. So here's all the phaser strips. So what we've got to do now is follow to see where these go. So they go like that. That one goes like that. You can sort of see how they sort of go round. That one in there. That one on there. And then obviously these on like that. Now these are going to be secured in with um, CP screws just here. So I'm going to flip this over. And put the phaser strips down, securing them in with the CP screws. You can see how they go down. So 
I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, just putting in the last screw for the state phaser strip. It just sits here. Nice and tight. Okay, so we've got the we've got the red and green nav lights here. So the red one goes this side and that just pushes in. Though it doesn't, it's not very stable, so I'm going to take them out. But the red and the green ones go either side here. And um, obviously they will be lit up at some point, but um, they're not they're not stable. So it's worth just putting them aside for now. So the big reveal, I've not seen it myself. I've just screwed in the uh, phaser strips. So there we go. And ta-da! <laughs> uh, officially now the, the top section is complete. So we've now finished the whole top section of our Enterprise build. Uh, complete with obviously uh, our impulse engine just here. Uh, we will have the nav lights in, but like I said, they don't actually go in yet. I don't think because it does tell you to put them in. But the problem is um, they will just fall out because I think they, they get sort of sandwiched, is, is the word I'm going to use. Yeah, they get sandwiched in. Uh, but it's looking really good now. I am really happy with this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip it back up, put it to the side, because we're going to now fit our battery box to this section here. So I can't remember where I've misplaced it. Okay, stand by. Oh, no. No, don't need to. It's here. <laughs> I was going to like, where is this? Where is this? Right, DM. We need some GM and DM screws. So we've got GMs here. Okay, so firstly, we used our GM screws. So the GM screws. Need two of them. These are a the lot smaller ones. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit. Come over a little bit. So that's going to sit like that. So we're going to put the our GM screws just into the smaller holes just here. So we've got a Then obviously in here, like so. Uh, then we're going to get our DM screws, which are they've got like the little, the little washers on them, like them. And we're going to put our battery, uh, our on-off switch. So um, I don't know which side's on and off. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. So we're going to push push this through here. And then we're just going to screw in our DM screws either side. There's one. And there's the other. So we're now starting to finish off our warp nacelle, which is nice. I love the detail as well that it's got the uh, the intimate chamber. I think that's what it's called. Oh, the warp cell and the the warp nacelle control station, which is in this little room here. We do actually see it in one of the episodes. It's in a little room down here, but there's no. Uh, indication I think they need to be painted really but it, it is what it is uh, obviously that will then at some point connect on to our warp and cell which is just here um, and then obviously that completes it once we have once we have it 
connected up and once it's on it will go on but i would imagine over the next couple of issues we do that um and that is it that is the end of stage 56 and yeah so that brings us to the end of stage 55 and 56 of issue 15 and i'm happy to report our saucer section is complete absolutely loving that <sighs> we got there in the end um but look at that i mean you can see i mean how big this is this is not small um seeing people complete them as well i'm so glad that we're uh i'm able to build this i'm all more glad that we're able to start it again um but yes that is done so all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for um, sticking around, watching my video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click like, subscribe, all of that. Uh, check out my other videos here on the channel. And we'll see you at the next one. But until then, we'll see you later.